is the worst day of pull tab investing since the stock market crash of whenever. We're on the search to find some of the coolest small town bars in the Midwest and today this bar is nuts. We're at the Sportsman's Bar in Clitheroe, Minnesota and yes it's home of the testicle festival. Will you cough for me please? Now you guys have heard of Easter egg hunts. They don't do that here at the Sportsman's Bar. What they do have is a testicle hunt. Let's see if we can find all the sacks and balls hanging on the walls in this place. That rhyme. One. Two, the old purse is what we'll call it. Three, four, five up there. Oh, no, there's one right there. Number six, looks like we got three pairs of pairs. That is nuts. I'm sure I'll find another one, but for right now, we got six pairs. And I'm gonna go to the bathroom and look for a couple more. All right, Tim, how's it going? Pretty darn good. You're the owner here? I am, well, my wife owns it, so I just yeah. work here. Tell me a little bit about the history of the Sportsman's Bar. Well, it's uh, we're actually coming up on the 100th anniversary. 100 years. Yeah. One of the biggest things about the Sportsman's Bar is you guys are home of the Testicle Festival, right? Yeah, one of, one of the bars that does that. How did that all get started? Started a little over 20 years ago. A lot of us raise cattle, and so it was in the fall, and that's usually when the young male calves get castrated to turn them into steers. So we decided one day we should save some of these and cook them up. And was it, was it a tough sell at first? The first year we did it, it was it was busy, and the second year it was really busy because everybody had heard about it. And right. Well, and the testicles are kind of a delicacy around here. Right? We'll have to shake some dice here in a little bit. I'm gonna Perfect. take a little look around. Sounds yeah, good. There's a lot of cool mounts on the wall. We got a bunch of fish. We got a white tail. Right above there is moose, caribou. Pretty cool. When you walk into the bar here, you've heard of a horse in a bar, but have you heard of a motorcycle in a bar? So you can see, classic Jimmy Stewart did a little burnout here in the bar about 18 years ago, that Tim said. That Jimmy, he's a real rascal. Honestly, you should put a frame around it. It's almost like a piece of art. You know, it's not really a small town bar unless you got a framed photo of Mike Ditka flicking off the camera. You're not gonna find that in a lot of other places. Should we get some pull tabs? As many as I can get with this guy right Right here. Here we go. Honestly, I think the humidity is really affecting the cardboard in here. See, look, it's not even, it's just bending. I didn't know I'd be battling the humidity today as a pull tab investor. Come on, baby. I got humid cardboard. I haven't got one. All right, last one. This, this is the worst day of pull tab investing since the stock market crash of whenever. Did you spend a hundred to make 20? No, I spent a hundred and I made zero. I feel sorry for you, sir. Miles, I told you, you gotta try harder. I know, I'm trying, I just can't win. All right, how about dice, Miles? Yeah, let's play some dice. Some days are gonna be down bad in pull tab investing, some days are gonna be up good. Not up good today. So I gotta diversify my portfolio a little, playing bar dice. Pair of fours, woo! <laughs> Not your first oh, 45! New leader! Whoopsies. Man. There you go. 36. 36! New leader! Okay! All you gotta do that's is get by go. him. Yeah, that's gonna be gone soon. Ron, you gonna keep him in again? Nope! Miles, out! Let's go! Woo! Oh my god! What a relief. I got people yelling in my ear. We're playing bar dice. Pull tabs are flying everywhere. I think this wraps up another small town bar tour. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I don't have any cash left on me. Tyler, you got some cash? Thanks for tuning in. And as always, be sure to tip your bartender. See you in the next one. Cheers. Oh, you betcha. Yeah. Yeah.